after the party was over and everybody went home, Snickers' breathing became very labored and he wasn't doing well. He probably wasn't gonna be able to hold on until morning because at that point it seemed like he was starting to suffer and that was the last thing that we wanted for him. We knew that he was letting us know that he was ready, but I didn't want to believe it. Okay, it's okay. Okay, come on, buddy. There you go. And even though we weren't ready, it was our duty to help him pass on. All these back legs don't work anymore? He'll walk for a little Lost. while and then he'll kind of, yeah, fl like fall over to the side. It's like a dramatic change. <laughs> Snickers is, he's a little special. And that's what makes this so much harder. He could have been the most amazing family companion to somebody out there. But nobody, nobody wanted him. We became his, his home. There you go, buddy. And he deserves to have the people that he knows the best and that became his family by his side till the very end. I love you, buddy. Yeah. He, wasn't, he was panting, but it's gotten worse. Snickers. I became a part of his life and he became a part of mine. And I think that it was only right that the three of us were there holding his head and kissing him and telling him how much we loved him. You think that you can prepare for that final moment and become really, really strong. And then the moment that it's happening, all of that goes out the window. And it's just impossible not to feel completely heartbroken. People ask me every day, how do you do it? How do you stay strong when there is so much sadness? I mean, this is sad. It's supposed to be sad, and you're supposed to feel horrible. It's just the way it is. You know, Lizzie's heart, I'm sure, feels like it's been ripped out of her chest. But that just shows you how much she cares about these dogs. She is one of us. I hate this so much. <laughs>